Another one. Let's see. Yeah, he's about a pound and a half. Yeah, a pound. Oh no, he's a little guy, but he fought really good. A spotted bass will do that to you. Good. Nice. You guys are putting them down, man. I'm happy for you guys having a great time. You guys are smacking them. Drop shot masters today. <laughs> this spot would have been a little tough to get to from shore. Oh, yeah. There you go, look at Oh yeah, we're having a good time out here. Morning, good afternoon, good night. Whatever time you're watching this, as always, thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. Well, we're back here out at the lake. We're actually at Lake McClure today for the 10th toy drive fishing trip. And I'm out here with Victor and Victor. You guys ready to go have some fun? Oh yeah. Okay, we're just dialing everything in, making some casts, having a little fun right now. But we're gonna go ahead, hit the big motor, go for a ride. We'll see you guys out on the water. Bye. Over here, nice little largey from the clear boom, sweet big Vic with the first fish in the boat on the drop shot with the robo worm, one of my favorites, too. The little uh morning dawn or the uh, what is it, margarita mutilator? That's morning dawn, yep. There we go with the hot tip, sweet bam. We got Victor, Big Vic on a fish, looks like a decent one. Yeah. And then we've got Little Vic on the net, and I believe Big Vic's fish probably came out of 40 plus, right? Oh yeah. So nice spotted bass, good job, dude. Fish number two, bam! Father and son, watch your pole, bro, watch your pole a little bit. Don't worry. Go ahead. Yeah, they're deep, man. Don't fight if you know where they're at, you know what I mean? Don't fight it, just roll with it. Bam! Nice, fish number three, dude. Good job. Sucker took my worm. <laughs> yep, same here. Net. Oh, it's a largey. Get it over, get it over in the net. Nice, yeah, yeah. You guys having fun already? Oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. You guys are having fun, man. You guys are smacking them already. Good job, guys. Big Vic with another fish. Nice. Having fun. Yeah, don't overfight him. Here he comes. Nice spotted bass. <laughs> yeah. This is a good little spot right here, huh? They load up right here. We got father and son out here, big Vic, little Vic. You guys having a good time already? Uh, We've just been at the spot for what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. 15 oh minutes barely. You already got like four here. We got one at the other spot. I haven't barely even had a chance to fish much, man. You guys are putting them down, dude. Good <laughs> job. So I just got snagged, lost my weight. I'm changing over to a smaller one. I'm more comfortable with the lighter weight. But good job, guys. Tearing them up. It doesn't feel big. It feels like a dink. Yeah, never mind. There we got it. On the flute. Yep. Nice. Good one. You got one? We're doubled. Doubled. Yeah, we're doubled. Doubled up, man. <laughs> Good day today already, huh? Yeah. We're having fun, dude. We're whacking them. <laughs> yeah, usually that, you don't even catch that much in the whole day. <laughs> no, not when you come with me, my guy. Not when you come with me. <laughs> you guys already know how to fish. You got that down. Just get out and hit some spots, you know? Good job, dude. You guys are putting the hammer down on them. <clears throat> All right, 
And this guy's a little keeper. We'll keep him for now just to take some photos. And then once we get our, our better five, we'll go ahead and call him out. He's so tiny. He's, look at that, barely. Just long and skinny. But hey, see you guys on the next one. Other little guy here. All right. Another guy here. Spitting up baby shad and baby bass. Got him on the fluke here. Drop shot in the fluke. So a little tip for you guys not to lose uh, your worms when you're drop shotting and when you're throwing stuff. Ride the worm up the shank instead of nose hooking it and you'll, you'll get a couple more fish before they take you off. So got a little spotted bass here. Thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. Nice, we got another fish in the boat here. Or at least one on. Nice. Spotted bass? Yep. Nice. Good one. Hold them up for the camera. So we got father and son out here. You guys having fun? Yeah. That's man. what it's all about. They're out here. <laughs> oh, yeah. They definitely are. Oh, you want to flip them? Doubles. Oh, nice. <laughs> we got doubles on. Sweet. Oh, okay. okay. So you got that little guy back there. Spotted bass. Mine's coming from out here, probably spotted bass too, coming out deep. Little guy, nothing too special. Yeah, a little spotted bass, I got him. <clears throat> so, I don't think neither of those are Nah, but we're getting them, having fun out here, huh? Yeah. Look at this, identical spotted bass pretty oh, much, dude. <laughs> yeah, having a good time, huh? Yes, having sir. fun. This is what fishing's all about. You know, we got a father and son out here. They donated something so we can go get some toys, you know, to help the needy kids this Christmas. So I really appreciate you guys uh, throwing in and, and coming out with me on this trip. So I hope to put you guys on as many fish as I can and, you know, hope it's going to be a blast today. We're going to ride this spot out till the wheels fall off. And uh, when they stop biting here or we get tired of catching them, we'll go somewhere else. So. Hope you guys are at home or enjoying today's show. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Like I said, we have that toy drive going on. So I appreciate everybody's support. Don't forget to smash that subscribe, like, and share. And as always, we'll see you on the next fish. Bam. Just to make sure. Man, we just turned you guys off. Look at that. Oh, shit. I got the... Here. There you go. <laughs> and he brought it off the crankbait. Sweet. <laughs> I got the net stuck on the square wheel like a doofus. Good job. So far, everybody's just having a good time putting a lot of numbers in the boat. So, see you guys out on the next one. Always good to have it back up. We'll see. When the numbers are like this, you know. You don't always need to get it, but when they come from deep, you know, sometimes they're really good fish. Let's see. <clears throat> so I'm not trying to overfight on this one. It feels like yeah, it's a decent spotted bass, not crazy. Thank you. Sweet. We're getting them. This guy hit it as soon as it hit the bottom, pretty much. So, nice spotted bass here. <clears throat> Nothing too crazy. Having fun out here at Lake McClure. Throwing some drop shots. Right now I'm drop shotting a fluke. So, having a good time out here. Just catching a bunch of numbers. Barely on the water. Oh, doubles. <laughs> oh, I missed mine. Good job. Oh, I missed mine. Good job, dude. I missed mine. We almost had another set of doubles, maybe even triples, right? <laughs> Good job, man. Let's uh, get a look at that real quick here. Nice. Well, guys and gals, we're uh, drop shotting right now, California fires. When the smoke was around, the fish seemed to, oh, look at that. Fish seemed to really be active and shallow. Oh, he came off. 
<laughs> Damn it. Fish seem to be really active and shallow. Right now with all the sun out, we've been getting them in the 30 to 50 range, I'd say. Wouldn't you guys? 25 to about 45, 50. So we're casting way out there offshore and they're just smacking them as soon as they, they hit the bottom. So it's pretty awesome. I just lost one in front of you guys. <laughs> Story of my life. <clears throat> huh? I don't know. Never know until you get them close with the drop shot. <laughs> sometimes they fight like wusses. And then they turn alive when they get closer and sometimes they just duke you in their dinks. So I think I'm fine. I don't need a net. Thanks so. Way <sighs> off. Look what he's throwing up, guys and gals. Baby shad. Just to put you on game. Little inch long baby shad this big. And they're out in the deep water smacking them. They're top water hitting them too. We're seeing them hit top, but they were just not hitting our bait because they're keyed in on something so fine. Remember when I was telling you about the floating fly? Yeah. That's probably what would catch the bass that are they bite or they're they're jumping but they won't bite you know what we're after they're too keyed in on something like that float and fly is a, a little sneaky presentation drop shot stuck him in the side of the face because he hit nice go ahead and hold him for the camera real quick got a nice little rainbow trout oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> There you go, toss him back in. We got Big Vic with another spotted bass out here. And we went through a little drought, but he put one in the boat for us. So you guys having fun? Yeah. So let's go get on some more fish. Hopefully let's find some bigger ones, right? Let's get them. All right. Vic dragging another drop shot fish into the boat here. He's doing good, he's just chilling. That looks like a large mouth. Oh no, okay, it's a spot. Good job. Bam! <laughs> He's got a Ned Rig fish. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> you side hooked him. <laughs> Foul hook! All right, we've got Victor Sr., Victor Jr., Big Vic, Little Vic. How's it going today, guys? Great. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. It was a tough day today, right? Yeah. So how did we get on the fish today? What were we doing? Just fishing deep. Bottom bouncing, drop shotting. Drop shotting them. And I think you got a decent fish on the jerk bait, right? Yeah. Running parallel along some floating stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good job, guys. Hold those out one more time. Stick them on out for us. Thanks for watching Common Sense Fishing. We're out here at Lake McClure having a good time for the 10th toy drive trip to help the needy kids. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bam.